Hola, my name is Wilmer, welcome to my channel. We've been hearing everywhere that one of the biggest trends right now is 3D wall patterns. These are fairly expensive. If you live in a rental or like me, don't like things forever, this could be a solution for you. After checking all my options, I decided to go with this recycled sketchbook. It has the perfect tone to match my wall, perfect size, and it was cheaper. I'm separating 10 sheets and cutting them with my exacto knife. Then, I'm using the last sheet's axis to continue cutting all my pieces. I'm gonna fold in half along the diagonal and using my cutting mat. I'm gonna find the diagonal's middle point and meet it with one of my opposite corners, getting a parallel diagonal fold. I turn it over and repeat. Spread the middle fold and redo it on the opposite paper side. Then meet the small diagonal with the bigger one, fold. and take the remaining corner to the diagonal's middle point. Turn it over and repeat. It is the same process than when doing a paper fan, but this time along the square's diagonal. Repeat as many times as needed. I'm gonna stop for a minute to prepare my wall. If your furniture leaves these horrible shadows on your walls, apply a bit of white toothpaste. And wipe it with a damp cloth. Back to our project, 
I'm gonna measure the whole wall and mark down the top and bottom. Then, with sewing thread and masking tape, I'm connecting the dots along the wall's height. This way, I avoid marking down all over the wall. Now, I'm dividing by 4 the Gorilla Sticky Pads that I will use to mount my sheets on the wall. They will allow me to remove the texture from the wall leaving no trace. Then stick each quarter to the four corners of my sheet of paper and mount them on the wall following the threads. I barely press on the mounting pads until I make sure everything is in place. Then I will assure each corner using a plastic card. As we used to have a clock on this wall, I'm nailing away to showcase my new minimalistic clock. Some pampas grass I found along the canal and... What do you think? I've always loved those 3D geometric walls, but I thought they were not for me. First, because I live in a rental, and then because I don't like things forever. I like to change my decor all the time. If you are into home and decor transformation, I would recommend you to watch this video where I did an interesting IKEA lamp hack. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hasta la próxima.